dissatisfaction over quality of locally manufactured medical equipments make them rely on imported instruments which are highly expensive and disposable in nature. An innovator named Dishan identified this huge gap in the market wherein manufacturing of surgical instruments was fragmented, manual and disorganized and therefore found a solution for the same. He started developing a line of high quality affordable laparoscopic instruments which had multiple benefits to offer in terms of quality, novelty and affordability. Welcome to another edition of Change Makers. Innovation in healthcare equipment is being driven by the need to make it more efficient and effective while providing better patient care. Technology is changing the way healthcare is delivered. New medical tools and techniques are being developed to help doctors and nurses diagnose and treat these patients more quickly and accurately. We have with us today one such entrepreneur who has done some commendable innovative work in the space of medical devices. Let's welcome Dishan Shah. Hi Dishan, welcome to the Change Makers. Please tell Hello, us, yes Dishan, please tell us something about you and your enterprise. So I am a electronics and telecommunication engineer from DJ Sangvi College of Engineering, Mumbai. And I started my medical device company in June 2021. So we are a medical device development company which focuses on moderate to high risk surgical instruments uh, and medical devices in the uh, domains of laparoscopy, urology and uh, now gastroenterology as well. So uh, that's a bit about my... Yeah, that sounds like a great solution you have. Uh, Dishan, what was the motivation that made you work and innovate in the healthcare industry? So my father uh, is business owner of a production house and uh, uh, he was approached by some surgeons who were complaining that there is a lot of reliance and dependence on, med uh, on imported products in the medical industry. Very expensive for their patients and they are disposable products. So you are supporting our Make in India movement, right? That's great. How are the yes. instruments that you have developed innovative or different from others? So basically, uh, our instrument uh, uses advanced bipolar energy. So that technology is generally used for sealing blood vessels. So sealing is a process of uh, basically uh, like uh, removing all the moisture and uh, fluid in the form of vapor by providing uh, high frequency uh, electrical energy to the tissue. And this allows the surgeon to basically uh, cut that part because all the blood etc is now fused as a uh, tissue so uh, he can like uh, uh, ligate that particular vessel or joint uh, without having to worry about blood loss so uh, this technology is used only for this purpose and uh, the surgeon has to remove the instrument and uh, replace it with another instrument like a scissor or a cutting instrument to basically start cutting. So our instrument basically uses electrical principles and uh, it uses electrical arcing for cutting the tissues. Uh, so the surgeon does not have to change the instrument again and again. So that saves a lot of time. And uh, our instrument does not have a separate cutting mechanism. So uh, the instrument is very lightweight and the surgeon can perform multiple surgeries. And our instrument also has uh, certain materials and coatings which allow anti-sticking uh, properties to be there inside the uh, jaws which are used to cut. So that also allows the surgeon to perform longer surgeries because he does not have to remove the instrument for cleaning and uh, that also affects his uh, momentum. So we have observed that our instruments have reduced surgery times from 2 hours to 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So our instruments are generally used in uh, gynecology surgeries and surgeries related to intestines, uh, uterus, uh, so basically abdominal surgeries. Yeah, that's great. Like uh, it's very interesting that uh, you are uh, allowing a surgeons to uh, not to switch the uh, instruments and the time saving 
So it's really interesting. So what are the problems that you are solving or addressing through your innovative instruments? So uh, there are two aspects. Certain aspects are limited to uh, this particular instrument. So that mainly, as I mentioned, ki, uh, it performs additional operations. So it can do sealing and cutting both. Uh, second is that uh, it does not have a separate mechanism for cutting. So uh, generally other instruments have a separate cutting mechanism which has a blade and it is triggered by another button. So that is that makes the product very bulky and prone to other uh, failures because the more the part, the more the points of failures. So in that case, uh, like our instrument does not have a separate mechanism. It uses electrical arcing and other principles to cut using the same geometry and uh, the same instrument. Uh, so it is very light. So the surgeon can perform a lot of surgeries using our instrument. There have been cases where uh, surgeons are not moved on to a, another instrument because uh, they were able to perform more surgeries with our instrument uh, and they did not get a lot of fatigue, etc. So uh, that is there. And uh, since the tissue does not stick, that also lowers the risk a lot because there is burning, etc. So and the tissue, uh, the instrument has to be cleaned again and again. So all these aspects are there. And uh, this basically this technology can be uh, incorporated in multiple instruments that are used for laparoscopy and even urology. So now we are trying to expand our product portfolio. And on a greater level, uh, we are uh, providing import substitutes. So uh, that reduces uh, the dependence on imported products. And also it makes it more affordable for tier 2, tier 3 uh, hospitals to adopt good quality solutions and provide good quality healthcare to uh, rural areas and uh, people who cannot afford uh, expensive surgery. And uh, secondly, we are also focusing on developing products which are affordable as well as uh, good quality. So uh, right now, people are not focusing towards product development or physical products because that requires a lot of capex and uh, research so people uh, like are focused a lot of industry is shifting towards it solutions and software solutions because of which even uh, core engineers are leaving their core field and joining it uh, like getting it skills and joining it companies because that's where uh, they are getting a good pay, but unfortunately, this is affecting the uh, industries which are manufacturing or production or product uh, development related. And uh, this is in, uh, undeniably becoming a reason why India is falling a bit behind, uh, like uh, as far as new product development or uh, uh, completely new research is concerned. So. Uh, people keep on saying ki, uh, like Indian products are generally copies or uh, similar product, like uh, better uh, improved versions of products which or products or businesses which are already tested and tried in foreign countries. So if we want to change that, then we have to come up with uh, companies, solutions and idea, ideas which have certain novelty and uh, research aspects incorporated in them. Yes, uh, yes, Dishan, you rightly said working in IT sector is much easier than working in uh, healthcare uh, sectors because whatever the equipments, whatever the instruments you produce, it, sh it has to meet some uh, quality standards, right? So how do you ensure that your products meet uh, quality standards? So when we started our venture, uh, the market was not that regulated and uh, we were able to test uh, our products quite easily with uh, the support of a few surgeons and uh, hospitals and doctors which uh, wanted to support us or had approached us for this problem. So uh, we were able to uh, basically pilot test our product very easily within a couple of month, uh, years. And uh, we were, uh, for a couple of years, we were also trying to understand the uh, market and price points uh, that govern the market. So since we are not from the medical background per se, we were from a uh, manufacturing background. So we did not 
have a lot of experience as to how the market works because for us uh, lower like small margins are also very uh, lucrative and in medical devices the margins are predominantly like uh, inherently very large so uh, for us to understand ki it is not about making money or keeping large margins it is about penetrating the market and uh, making profit uh, but not at the expense of uh, not providing good quality healthcare to people so we uh, basically reduced our pricing by 50 to 60 percent and uh, we understood the particular price target which we felt was catering to almost everyone in india and uh, we then released the product with that uh, fully uh, with that price point fully in the market across india and uh, it was very well received and we were able to uh serve uh, approximately 1000 to 1200 uh, surgeons across multiple hospitals across india in 20 plus states great. where we have presence yeah great great good to hear about it uh please share your experience in participation in smart india hackathon and how the participation in smart india hackathon helped you achieve what you have achieved now so uh i have always been a hardware or a product development guy so i uh, joined smart india hackathon for the first time in i think 2018 uh, when the hardware edition was released so at that time we were shortlisted for the second round but unfortunately we did not make it to the finals because uh, at that time i was a uh, junior and i did not have a lot of experience uh, and skills uh, per se and uh, the competition itself was also evolving so the guidelines were not a lot clear and uh, the product state, like it did not have a lot of problem statements at that time we were supposed to select our own uh, products uh, like our own problems etc so uh, due to these issues uh, we were not able to make it past the second round but uh, in the third stage uh, like in the next year i was able to uh, like understand and take my learnings from this uh, from this particular year and i applied for software and hardware editions in 2019 out of which i won the software one and uh, in the 2021 i uh, in the 2020 version i won the hardware one so in the software one we were supposed to develop a solution to detect driver ter- uh, driver alertness in uh, uh drivers uh, so basically that was provided us uh, provided to us with from mindry for which we proposed a hybrid solution which had high hardware and software aspects and the judges received it uh, very well because uh, it was one of the few solutions which incorporated a hardware aspect so uh, we won that and in the 2020 version we were supposed to develop a uh sos like system for uh, fishermen or uh, people who venture out in the seas and get lost so uh, we uh, provided a solution which was a variable solution and uh, it was uh, it allowed the uh, uh, like the standard uh, person to basically get his own, like instead of relying on help uh they could basically travel to certain areas uh like basically plan the travel to certain areas uh, and uh, get navigation to uh, reach a particular area without any uh, network or any uh, like uh, uh, wifi cellular uh, network etc and they were basically able to uh, navigate their travel and plan their travel uh, to certain locations and ports which were uh, already saved in the device and they were also able to transmit sos messages from 5 to 10 kilometers afar so that was uh, the reason why our solution won in that yeah that's great i think you participated in software edition as well as the hardware edition and you are the winner of both edition as well congratulations and uh, dishan how has the participation in sih helped you in your entrepreneurship journey so sih was the first uh, uh product development competition you can say which mm-hmm. provided us with the industrial level problem statement so uh before that we were only making projects which did not uh, 
like solve a actual problem per se and uh, we did not uh, we used to make uh, things but we did not uh, know what to make of it or what to do with it afterwards so SI was one of the first uh, competitions that i had joined and uh, it was the first time i could understand that uh, the thing that i was developing had a real life effect or uh, was solving a real problem so that basically marked my journey towards uh, getting uh, actual problems solved and it basically changed my perspective on how i was looking at uh, problems and problem statements uh, uh, for my ventures or my ideas yeah uh, dishan i think uh, the key takeaway from uh, smart india hackathon participation is you learn the product development life cycle uh, with this uh, can you please tell me the challenges in your journey and how you overcame those uh, the problems that i could see very evidently was that uh, any investor uh, was not willing to uh, invest into businesses which uh, had a viability of uh, like sustainable growth so they focus on businesses which can grow fast uh, and beyond that fast growth they generally do not care what happens of that business in the future so is it viable is it profitable will it make profit or will it sustain so uh, that was one issue that i could feel ki uh, even i if, even if i could uh tell them that i had revenue and i had certain products and i had a very good product line and a very good potential to do certain things in the future uh they felt ki this was not viable for them to join because uh like they uh did not feel ki this was uh like more revenue uh, more return generating than a software company or some other company the second issue that i could face was that when an investor says ki i am uh, technology savvy generally they mean that they are into software and app uh, like uh, portfolios so in that case they do not have a lot of experience or domain knowledge in uh, what we are doing and that requires a lot of uh, explaining and uh, like uh, pitching uh, time and unfortunately investors generally give uh, less than 3 minutes to pitch so establish a differentiation from existing products as well as to uh, show the potential growth viability uh, everything is very difficult to do uh, within 3 minutes especially when your business is product focused where you have multiple products in different domains with multiple uh, differentiations and uh, uh, multiple parameters or multiple novelties and uh, you just cannot explain it because uh, the investor is not from that domain so i could very evidently see that these are not the investors or the type of people i should be taking money from and uh, maybe definitely if a uh, investor of this kind also supports us uh, well and good if he sees potential in us because we do have potential uh, but uh, we could see that we want like we need to get people who are from this domain who can basically value and appreciate our business much better and uh, who can take the time to understand our solutions and uh, like judge accordingly and basically invest their money because they have faith in our business and this uh, product line uh, instead of just trying to make money out of it yes, so Nisha. you <laughs> rightly said you only told about the problems you have faced and you have given the solution as well like you need to approach the right investors with the right pitching deck like as you said the pitching is very much important in raising the fund so within 3 minutes you will have to show what is the differentiation in your product and you need to attract the investors in the same way and investors every time every time they expect what is a new uh, product line and product line in your business so i so, hope you understood understood very yeah. nicely this thing uh, you i hope you will get uh, the investment in future don't worry about it yeah yeah so how do you stand apart from others in this sector uh, dishan so generally the uh, players in this sector uh, are well established businesses they have been there for like certain decades and uh, 
like there are two types of uh, competitors uh, majorly that we have uh, one are mncs that are so well diverse that they fall into any and every category of medical devices so anything that we develop will compete with one of their products and uh, the second is uh, like indian ventures or indian companies that are uh, well established and have been there since a few decades they were basically the forerunners in shaping the medical industry so they want a larger profit value uh, per sales so we are focusing towards accessories and surgical instruments which uh, have more quantity of sales but a uh, lower profit values so the actual profit value is uh, lower than a capital item so uh, we feel that we have momentum and agility on our side and uh, we can think ahead far ahead from what uh, like our competitors are able to think our per product sales uh, like total sales are much higher because our products are more affordable and yet we are able to make sufficient margins to make a sustainable business out of it which is uh, profitable as well so uh, we feel that our differentiation is uh, basically our ability to uh, think big solve uh, problems in a innovative way by incorporating uh, solutions that uh, go far ahead from what is uh, like uh, necessary or okay to do i think you have thoroughly done the market survey before you uh, entered into the market and you have a very much hunger for the research and development please keep it up i'm sure this hard work and vision has been appreciated and won uh, you accolades can you share some recognition or awards that you might have for this uh, that you might have got for your work i have participated in many competitions and i have been winner or a finalist in almost 5 uh, to 10 national and international hackathons and uh, my uh, products have also won a lot of accolades uh, we had developed a solution called worksafe uh, it was an open source solution uh, which was developed for the pandemic period and uh, uh, it uh, basically won 2 to 3 lakh rupees in uh, different challenges uh, cumulatively uh, including a challenge called uh, uh, india turning the tide uh, which was conducted by mit university uh, from us so we have uh, approached multiple solutions and like multiple problems with unique solutions and ideas and uh, if uh, certain funding and support for research and development is provided for uh, commercially viable solutions then i am sure that uh, like much more accolades and uh, like solutions will follow uh, not just uh, for me but uh, to all other people who have similar mindsets and are developing uh, like certain uh, solutions which address multiple problems yeah this time it's good to know that you have developed some solution during our the pandemic uh, time also great Uh, have you received support uh, have you received uh, funding support from other sources as well can you please uh, share a few if you have received so we have received uh, support from nidhi prayas scheme uh, then we have received support from the sisfs scheme uh, by the government uh, we will uh, approach byrac for another uh, scheme of theirs so potentially we think that uh, some day or the other we will be supported by byrac as well if our products meet their yeah. uh, criteria and uh, we are also uh, supported uh, like by our own funds so we are a profitable company and uh, currently we are bootstrapping so we reinvest uh, funds uh, inside the company itself uh, unfortunately the pandemic affected my father's business a lot so uh, due to certain financial constraints right now it uh, it is challenging to uh, run a business uh, like uh, and these are difficult times as well because the market is getting affected by the wars and uh, the sentiment so uh, we are basically trying to raise funds so that uh, we can uh, survive this period and uh, we can also make sure ki uh, 
we are not just surviving but we are also keeping up with our uh, milestones and uh, uh, pace so uh, with that regards i have approached multiple vcs and uh, uh, investors but as i mentioned due to the reasons i did not uh, get a lot of uh, interest from their sides but i have received a lot of interest uh, from uh, people from hospital background or medical background and currently we are in good talks with them uh, uh, somewhere around uh, the next month i think we should close a certain uh, deal okay congratulations on achieving your fundraising goal it is inspiring to see your hard work and dedication uh, i wish you continue uh, success as you move forward with your project uh, dishan what advice would you give to the newcomers who is considering to start their own venture i would uh, certainly suggest that uh, they look into uh, domains which no one else is trying to uh, like uh, do something in and uh, identify certain domains which are going to be ever present and affect any or every industry that uh, they are associated with so uh, identify these industries where you can clearly see that uh, if you are able to do revolutionary work in that industry you will basically be defining the uh, course of humanity so i would uh, recommend people to actually uh, think about changing the history instead of just changing your life that's a uh, great dishant as you said uh, change the history instead of changing yourself is the right advice for the budding entrepreneurs uh, yeah. dishant how have you adapted uh, to changing trends in in the medical instrument manufacturing industry we were one of the first few people who uh, incorporated automation in uh, like part development and uh, uh, developing surgical instruments so uh, this basically uh, pushed other manufacturers to basically uh, incorporate certain solutions and certain quality checks inside their uh, 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 production and quality system and uh, apart from that we are also basically trying to change the uh, way uh, research and development is looked at so we basically want to come up with solutions which are one of their kind not just in india but in the entire world uh, thank you for sharing how you have adapted to changing trends in medical instrument manufacturing industry it is clear that you have taken a proactive uh, and informed approach to seeing ahead of the curve uh, dishan what plans do you have for the future of your business so in the next couple of years we will be releasing a product line uh, of laparoscopic instruments which basically will allow any surgeon for who performs laparoscopy to uh, complete any surgery in that domain uh, with our instruments only so that will almost uh, remove the dependence on uh, foreign import the second thing that we plan to do is we plan to expand to other geographical territories which have certain similarities with the budget cautious market in india so we are planning to enter uh, african and latin american markets we are also uh, having uh, good business uh, associates in uh, uae and uh, europe uh, so we also uh, at some point of time uh, plan to uh, like enter those markets apart from that we are uh, also looking forward to business partnerships okay. because we can clearly see that uh, it is getting more and more and more difficult to set up a manufacturing facility or uh, like uh, put capex to uh, develop parts or uh, actual products so people are now approaching us to get the manufacturing done for their products which is a uh, Uh, an additional source of revenue or uh, like uh, turn around that i can do uh, basically it allows me to play a vital role in any supply chain for any uh, medical device part that uh, is sold in india and abroad uh, the third thing that i plan to do is i uh, plan to invest uh, heavily into research and development of certain projects that i feel hold a lot of promise uh, and have a lot of limitations currently in india so capsule endoscopy is one of them and uh, 
I basically plan to keep on uh, like uh, putting money in these uh, certain areas uh, till they get developed, which I think will take one or two years at least. And uh, by the time we have matured the laparoscopic markets, like uh, the market with our laparoscopic devices and the sales have matured a bit, uh, we will be releasing products which are one of the kind in the entire world uh, by two to three years, uh, which will basically set us apart from any other company in India and abroad. And uh, we think that if things go right, then within three to five years, uh, we will be touching uh, any a sales figure anywhere between $100 million to $1 billion based on our uh, product lines and market reception. So focus towards valuation, but uh, we so we want to achieve a good revenue uh, figure. We do not care uh, generally that uh, we do not set milestones based on valuation uh, marks. Yeah, that's right. I could able to understand like more than the uh, revenue or valuation, your hunger is for R and D in innovation. That's please keep up the great work. That all sounds like an excellent plan for the future of the business. It's great to see that. You have a clear vision of how to keep the business moving forward and growing. Uh, keep up the great work. Adishan, what advice would you give to someone considering uh, starting a similar business? So, uh, it is getting more and more difficult to enter the medical device industry, especially uh, for the moderate to high risk category. And uh, it is also becoming more and more difficult to get export certificates like CE and USFTA because uh, as I mentioned that people are leaving their core jobs. So uh, people who have uh, the experience and uh, like domain knowledge to perform audits, medical audits and uh, uh, approve companies for their products, uh, they are becoming lesser and lesser. So there is a long queue uh, with regards to uh, certification processes and approvals. So it is a bit difficult to enter the market uh, without uh, like properly studying it and uh, understanding if uh, it is viable and uh, if you have a background in medical industry and uh, biomedical engineering or material science then I would recommend that you do develop something in this area uh, even if uh, there are certain entry barriers uh, you can always uh, put up with uh, like industrial partnerships or collaborations and uh, get things moving forward because uh, we are certainly uh, looking forward to collaborations and uh, support and uh, once uh, like people start uh, seeing success and uh, proving themselves uh, money will obviously start flowing in the sector as well so uh, it is just a matter of time and uh, the government is investing heavily now on medical infrastructure and hospitals and development. So this industry is going to grow at a very rapid pace. So uh, that's my advice that uh, even in things that uh, do not leave this industry, if you are uh, like, if you feel that this is your place to be. Uh, that's a great advice. Starting a business can be an exciting and challenging journey but it is important to have a plan in place and be prepared for anything. It is also wise to seek help from professionals to ensure you are taking the right steps from the start. We wish you good luck. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing your story. Thank you, Disha. Thanks a lot for having me. Innovation in healthcare equipment has helped patient care and outcomes in many ways. It has enabled doctors to diagnose and treat diseases more accurately and efficiently and has made it easier to monitor patient health. It has helped to improve safety for both patients and practitioners as well as providing better communication between them. We hope to see more innovators like Dishan coming forward to make our lives healthier and better. Thanks for watching.